Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Urdu Sikhe. This is episode number 30. I'll be doing today's translation by myself. I do want to remind you that every episode comes with a PDF that you can download from our website. The exact site for this episode is urdusikhe.com forward slash e30. That's e30 for episode 30. Also, I'm changing the format just a bit. You'll hear the dialogue only once, and then I'll dive straight into the translation, going into detail for only certain phrases. As always, if you have any questions, you can post them in the discussion section for this episode, which again you can find at ordusihe.com forward slash e30, or you can click the link in the description. So let's listen to our dialogue. Samir or Salima. एक बस में है मैं बहुत थक गई हूं हां मैं भी ओह सिर्फ एक ही सीट है आप ले लें आप मुझसे बड़ी हैं क्या मैं तुमसे सिर्फ 3 साल बड़ी हूं जी लेकिन आपके सफेद बाल हैं तुम्हारे भी सफेद बाल हैं समीर क्या कहां यह सीट तुम्हारी है समीर तुम बहुत थक गए हो नहीं मुझ में बहुत एनर्जी है मैं रोजाना दौड़ने जाता हूं देखो तुम इसीलिए इतने थक गए हो क्योंकि तुम रोजाना दौड़ने जाते हो यह सीट तुम्हारी है नहीं सलीमा यह आपकी है एक लड़का बस में चढ़ता है वाह एक खाली सीट वेलकम बैक प्लीज डू लेट मी नो हाउ यू लाइक्ड द न्यू क्विकर फॉर्मेट गोइंग फॉरवर्ड आई शेयर द डायलॉग विद यू जस्ट वंस and then we'll start discussing it. This time, it's just me. I will translate each line, but I'll only provide details where I think it adds value. Of course, if you have any questions, there is a discussion section on the website for each episode. For this episode, you'd need to go to ordusihe.com forward slash e30. So let's get to the explanation. And again, if you don't like this new format, let me know. And if I hear from enough people, I'll go back to the old way. So I do hope you found the dialogue humorous. Because we didn't all record together and at the same time, I wonder if the humor was lost. So let's take a look at what's happening in the dialogue. It starts off with the narrator saying, Samir or Salima bas mein hai. Samir or Salima bas mein hai. Which means Samir and Salima are on a bus. Then Salima says, Main bohat thak gai hoon. Main bohat thak gai hoon. This means I'm really tired. Because Salima is a woman, she says, Thak gai. If Samir were saying it, he'd say, Thak gaya. The infinitive of this verb is Thakna, which means to be tired or to get tired. I'll soon be starting episodes where I focus on the conjugation of just one verb. I've had several requests for demonstrating how to conjugate verbs in various tenses, so I'll make sure to add takna to that list. I almost started to do the conjugation in this episode, but I found that it's going to be very lengthy, so I'll dedicate a whole episode to it. Let's return to the line in our dialogue. Main bohat thak gai hoon. Again, this means... I'm very tired. So then Samir says, Ha, mebhi, which means, Yeah, me too. Who knows? Maybe they're tired because they were walking around all day, or maybe they had to chase after the bus. Upon getting on the bus, a bit annoyed, Salima says, Oh, sirf ek hi seat hai. Oh, sirf ek hi seat hai which means, oh, there's only one seat. Initially, we think Samir is being kind by saying, Aap le le, aap mujh se badi hain. Aap le le, aap mujh se badi hain. Aap le le means, you take it. Notice how he uses the most formal version of you, which is aap. So automatically, the listener may assume a few things. They may assume that Salima is older than Samir. 
that Salima is in a position that requires respect. Maybe she's a teacher, a doctor, or some such profession. Or it could even be a status thing that Salima is just wealthier than Samir. Oh, and it could be that they don't know each other well. So he's referring to her using Ab. Because they're traveling on a bus together, though, it's most likely that Salima is just older than Samir, which definitely is the case, as the next line indicates. Samir says, Aap mujse badi hai. Badi, in this case, means older. It can also mean bigger. So he's saying, older than me. You are older than me. Aap mujse badi hai. We've looked at mujse before, which means than me. Let's take a look at some examples. So if I wanted to say, you are smarter than me, how would I say that? Aap mujse zaheen hai. Aap mujse zaheen hai. Zaheen is one way to say smart. And we use he because we have aap. Aap always pairs with the to be verb he. How about you are taller than me? Aap mujse lambi hain. Aap mujse lambi hain. Or if you're speaking to a man, you would say, Aap mujse lambe hain. Aap mujse lambe hain. How about you are younger than me? Aap mujse choti hain. Aap mujse choti hain. Or if talking to a man, you'd say, Aap mujse chote hain. Aap mujse chote hain. And finally, how would you say you are stronger than me? Aap mujse taqatwar hain. Aap mujse taqatwar hain. So notice that there is that throttle qa, yeah? Taqatwar. So for this one, I'm tempted to say the word ziyada before taqatwar. Every now and again, you will see the use of the word ziyada before the adjective to express the idea of more than. So we could say, Aap mujse ziyada taqatwar hain. Aap mujse ziyada taqatwar hain. And you'd say the same thing whether speaking to a woman or a man. Taqatwar means strong or powerful. So Samir could have said, Aap mujse zyada badi hain. Aap mujse zyada badi hain. Though zyada isn't necessary in this sentence. So our sentences are, Aap mujse zaheen hain. Aap mujse lambi hain. Aap mujse choti hain. Aap mujse zyada taqatwar hain. If you would like to see these written out in both Urdu and the transliteration, be sure to download the PDF from our website, www.urdusihe.com forward slash e30. I don't believe I've done an episode on this topic of comparative adjectives, so if you would like me to do so, let me know in the discussion section for this episode, and I'll be sure to add it to my list. I'll prioritize it. Next, we see that Salima's ego is clearly hurt. If she was ever considering taking that seat, that went right out the window when Samir reminds her that she's older than him. She says, Kya? Main tumse sirf teen saal badi hon. Kya? Main tumse sirf teen saal badi hon. This means, what? I'm only three years older than you. You see that we have the word sirf in line four and here. Sirf means only. And again, we use the word se. When comparing things, we will use se. Samir had said, Aap mujse badi hai. And Salima says, Main tumse sirf teen saal badi hu. So mujse, 
आपसे तुमसे इससे हमसे these are all used to make comparisons let's give two more examples so if i want to say she is smarter than him how would i say that wo usse zyada zaheen hai wo usse zyada zaheen hai wo is she usse is than him so a word for word translation would be she than him smarter is wo usse zyada zaheen hai again zaheen is smart and zyada zaheen is smarter i do hope to have quizzes posted on the page for this episode someday allowing you to test your knowledge i know that when i see a bunch of the same types of questions one after another my mind finds a pattern and it just understands the structure better so i do hope to have that available to you eventually moving on we see that samir uses the pronoun aap to refer to salima but salima uses the pronoun tum again it could be for the same reasons we mentioned earlier salima could be older or holds a respectable position i would say that they don't know each other well but if that were the case Samir probably wouldn't bring up her having white hair which he does in the next line. If these two were real people, they'd likely use tum to refer to one another since they seem to be friends more than anything. Next, Samir responds, "Ji, lekin aapke safed baal hain." "Ji, lekin aapke safed baal hain." This means, "Yes, but you have white hair." safed is the color white we could also have said aapke baal safed hain aapke baal safed hain so again salima uses tum she says tumhare bhi safed baal hain samir tumhare bhi safed baal hain samir this means you also have white hair samir the verb have isn't used in the urdu sentence but it's understood i'll share a few other sentences where have is just understood tumhare bhi safed baal hain samir if we do a word for word translation it would be yours also white hair are remember hair is usually plural unless you indicate that you're speaking of one strand of hair tumhare is a possessive adjective meaning yours I'll be sure to include all the possessive adjectives in the handout that's available for download from the website. Samir is shocked to hear that he also has white hair. He responds, "Kya? Kaha?" which are just two question words meaning what? Where? Kya is what and kaha is where. Salima now doubling down on her decision to not take the seat says ye seat tumhari hai samir tum bahut thak gaye ho ye seat tumhari hai samir tum bahut thak gaye ho again we see the possessive adjective tumhari it's feminine here because seat is feminine nothing new here We already saw the verb takna earlier so let's keep moving. Samir is also determined to not take the seat responding nahi mujh mein bahut energy hai main rozana daudne jata hu nahi mujh mein bahut energy hai main rozana daudne jata hu We couldn't think of how to say energy in Urdu while recording But I recently looked it up using the Rekta dictionary and it gave me the word dum which I have definitely heard before but I think of it to mean strength and not energy but I guess it could work Samir could have said nahi mujh mein bahut dum hai mujh mein bahut dum hai or mujh mein bahut energy hai word for word translates to in me a lot of energy is the reason i include the word for word translation is because i think it could help in forming other sentences 
So if mujh mein bahut energy hai, translates to in me, a lot of energy is, which is I have a lot of energy. I could use this knowledge to also say I have a lot of courage or I have a lot of fear or strength or love. I won't go into how to say this here, but be sure to download the PDF where I provide the answers. Again, we see that in the English translation, we use the word have, but that word isn't in the Urdu sentence. So here it's understood to mean that the person has a lot of energy. So our two examples are, Tumhare bhi safed bal hain. You also have white hair. Mujh mein bohat energy hai. I have a lot of energy. The concept of having something can be expressed with the help of possessive adjectives, like in our two sentences. There are other ways to express having something, and this is just one way to express it. For example, to say I have a brother, I'd say Mera ek bhai hai. Mera ek bhai hai. To say he doesn't have a house, we'd say Uska koi ghar nahi. Uska koi ghar nahi. Koi is added for emphasis. It's not really necessary. But if you hear the daily conversation, you will hear koi. We could have said Uska ghar nahi. And if you remember, we can leave out the to be verb he if we end with the word nahi. So, uska koi ghar nahi means he doesn't have a house. I'll also add the topic of discussing the different ways you can express having something to my list of topics to discuss. Let's look at me rozana dorne jata hum. Dorne jana is like takkeya. It is a verb formed by using two verbs. It's a compound verb. The infinitive of dorne jana is dorna, which means to run. Dorne jana means to go running, while dorna means to run. So I could say I run every day. Me rozana dorti hu. Or to say I go running every day, I'd say what Samir said. With a slight change, me rozana dorne jati hu. Me rozana dorne jati hu. So me rozana dorti hu, and me rozana dorne jati hu. So following that structure, how would I say I swim every day? Me rozana terti hu. Me rozana terti hu. Terna means to swim. I go swimming every day would be Me rozana terne jati ho. Me rozana terne jati ho. How would I say I bike every day or I ride my bike every day? That would be Me rozana cycle chalati ho. Me rozana cycle chalati ho. Hum. And I go biking every day would be Me rozana cycle chalane jati hu. Me rozana cycle chalane jati hu. So with this last sentence, the second translation wouldn't be used. Me rozana cycle chalane jati hu. If you were to say it to somebody, they would understand. But the more common phrase is Me rozana cycle chalati hu. Or Me rozana cycle chalata hu if you're a man. If you can avoid using the second structure, then that's best. The more common way to say it is I do something every day. I, I Me rozana terti hu. Me rozana gym jati hu. Me rozana cycle chalati hu. So on. Next, we have a long line. Dekho, tum ishi liye itne thak gai ho, kyunke tum rozana dorne jate ho. Dekho, tum ishi liye itne thak gai ho, kyunke tum rozana dorne jate ho. Then she says, ye seat tumhari hai. 
Dekho in this case means see. So the infinitive dekhna means to look. But here Sanlima is saying, you see? Dekho? Then she adds, is he liye? He is added for emphasis. We could have just said, is liye, taking out the he. Is liye means for this reason or that's why. He is the same as when in English I might say, that is why you're so tired. That that is what he represents. So I'd say it like this. Tom is he liye, right? Do you hear that? Is he liye? That there's like a emphasis on he. Tom is he liye itne thak gaye ho, kyunki tum rozana dorne jate ho. And that means that is why you're so tired because you go running every day. The word itne means so. For example, if I want to say so big, I'd say itna bada. So small would be itna chota. So old would be itna purana. So much would be itna zyada. So to say so much food, we'd say itna zyada khana. And kyunke means because. And then again, we see a repeated sentence. Ye seat tumhari hai. And that means this seat is yours. So I'm just going to say that full line one more time. Dekho, tum is hi liye itne thak gaye ho. Kyunke tum rozana dorne jate ho. Ye seat tumhari hai. And Samir continues to argue, saying, No, Salima, it is yours. Nahi, Salima, ye aapki hai. Nahi, Salima, ye aapki hai. So, while they're arguing because of their bruised egos, we hear the narrator say, Ek ladka bas me charta hai. Ek ladka bas me charta hai. This means, a boy gets on the bus. Charna means to climb or to get on. In this case, it means to get on. Bus me charna, to get on a bus. In Urdu, there are several things that you use charna for. For example, you get on a horse. Ghode pe charna. Ghode pe charna. You get on a roof. Chat pe charna. Chat pe charna. If you get on someone's back, then we can say beat pe charna. Beat pe charna. That's going piggyback. So the narrator says, Ek ladka bus me charta hai. This means a boy gets on the bus. And that boy sees the empty seat and says, Vah, ek khali seat. Vah, ek khali seat. If you've heard past episodes, I've explained va in great detail, but basically va means wow. Kali means empty. So ek kali seat means an empty seat. Ek means one. So we can guess who finally took the seat. So there you have it, folks. I'm going to stop apologizing for the gaps in my publishing I can't promise anything, but I will do my best to be a little more consistent. Please do visit the page for this site and let me know how you like this new format. Do you prefer that I have guests or is it okay to just have a dialogue and then explain it by myself? Do you want the dialogue repeated several times or are you okay with hearing the translations within the explanation, like today? I look forward to hearing from you all Thank you always to those who write in to let me know that you enjoy the podcast. That's really the only way that I know that this is reaching anyone. So I appreciate it. Until next time, Khadafis.